What I have on this log down here is a group of land snails, and land snails are some of my favorite animals ever. And land snails are mollusks, just like clams and squids. Basically what a mollusk is is a soft-bodied invertebrate animal that finds some skeletal support from calcium carbonate. And these calcium carbonate structures that they produce are what we call shells. So over here we have a big group of these polygyridae land snails, and these are common throughout the entire eastern United States. And this one's a bit special because he's a mesomphyx snail, that's the genus name, and they call them brittle button snails, and they're pretty rare down here in southern Illinois, so he wasn't as easy to find as all of these. These land snails are omnivores, and that means that they have a highly diverse diet. And we think of land snails eating mostly vegetables and plants, and that does make up a large part of their diet. But these animals also need a source of protein. So what they will actually do is scavenge on things like dead animals, mostly dead insects, to get that source of protein. Land snails don't really have teeth. What they have is called a radula, and this is sort of a tongue with teeth on it, and that's how they feed. So they'll find plants or vegetables or other organic matter, and they'll actually lick it with this toothy tongue, and they'll rasp at it to sort of tear some of the matter off the surface and then they'll swallow it. So land snails are slimy and they secrete mucus not only to protect their skin but they also use it to travel around. So what they do is when they make this mucus it's sort of easier for them to glide across the surface of the ground and then in combination with the muscles in their body they can create an airtight seal against different surfaces so they can climb uh, up vertical surfaces and they can even hang upside down. These land snails have a shell made of calcium carbonate and they're attached to their shell. If you try and pull them out you'll kill them and they can't switch shells so what they do is the older they get they keep secreting calcium carbonate on their skin and this will build the shell and there's a special region which is sort of inside the shell and on the very edge which is called the mantle and that's what's going to be secreting these calcium carbonate compounds land snails are hermaphrodites and what that means is that they're both genders so each time snails reproduce both of the individuals will actually carry fertilized eggs these land snails are an important part of each ecosystem because they help with nutrient cycling so like i said they eat things like living and decaying plants fungi and even inorganic materials and they'll store all these nutrients and minerals in their body and then when something comes along and eats the snail it in turn is going to absorb all these minerals and nutrients that otherwise wouldn't be able to eat so snails are sort of this important first step on the food web of transferring nutrients.